Oh, I smell everything. Hey everyone, today we are going to do a first impression and review of the Beauty Blender. Um, believe it or not, I've been uh, doing makeup for probably like six years now and I've never tried one of these. Um, I always just thought, oh, it's just a sponge. And I have a full bag over there of them that I use up like that. So, I don't know. Um, but I got this um, Beauty Blender. This is the duo set. I got it from a friend of mine. She sold it to me. Um, but you can get them at Sephora, probably Ulta, places like that. Um, and online anywhere, like Amazon sells them. Um, basically, it's a latex-free sponge um, that what you do is you wet it first and then you bring it out really good so that it's, it's damp but you don't feel the wetness and then you use your, your liquid makeup with it. Um, so I'm going to open it. Editor's Choice Awards winner from Allure Magazine. That's what it's like. Um, and they come in like different colors too. So there's a white one, there's these pink ones, and then there's black ones. I don't know if they really are different. So my first thing is they're a lot smaller than I thought they would be, um, and they feel nice and spongy, but like dense. It's like a dense silicone-y feeling. First of all, um, you should notice the shape. It's like a really like coney shape. Um, it has like a wide end and then a pointed end, which makes it really good for getting into those really hard to reach areas like around your eyes. Um, so yeah, that's it. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to saturate in the sink. I just have a bottle of water here and a Fix Plus bottle. I'm just going to spray it. And then I'm just going to squeeze out the excess. I've already primed my face with my L'Oreal Studio Secrets Primer. And the foundation I am going to try this with is my Grafter Ben Cream Foundations. Um, and the color I am using is Leading Lady. So I'm just going to scoop out some foundation and put it on the back of my hand and I'm going to work the product onto the Beauty Blender. Warm it up. And start applying. Um, it feels very nice on the skin, uh, not harsh at all, and it is, the shape really makes it easier to get into some areas that are hard to get into. Especially around the eyes. My, my foundation looks really flawless. Um, so that's really great and it looks evenly applied um, and I didn't even really have to like flip the sponge over and like use the other end to kind of stipple but I like it um, I don't know if I would use one every day on myself but I would definitely use it on my clients so let me finish the rest of my makeup and I'll get back to you. Yeah, so my makeup is all done. Um, my overall score for the beauty blenders are probably like an 8 out of 10. My only gripe with them is that they're expensive. Um, yes, they are like you can use them over and over again and you can get a special cleanser to clean them. Um, but I really just, I don't know, the price is really kind of disarming for me. They can be $30, so it's like, I could buy 100 sponges for, you know, 15, I don't know. But I just, that's my only gripe with them. They applied my makeup beautifully, really seamlessly and flawlessly. Um, it looks like I applied it with the best foundation brush in the world rather than just a little pink sponge. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're really great. 
why are they so expensive? <laughs> Someone please tell me why. So that's it guys. If you want to go out and try the Beauty Blender, I thoroughly recommend them. However, know that you are going to pay a pretty hefty price for them um, in my eyes. You might think differently. Um, so yeah. Um, so that's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. Press the like button if you do. Uh, hit subscribe if you want to see more from me. I put out new videos every Tuesday and Friday. I'll see you all in the next video. I love you. Bye. That awkward moment when you want to sing a Backstreet Boys song. Tell me why it ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why.